Welcome to the East Point Systems Training Series. In this video, you will learn about the new features found in the latest update for Infield Express. When you first log into Infield Express, you may be prompted to accept or reject the orders that have been sent to you. To accept an order, click inside the Accept or Rejection column and choose Accepted. Or to reject it, choose Rejected. After you have accepted an order, you can choose the calendar to select the estimated completion date. If you want to accept or reject several orders at once, you can use the batch functions to select them all. And after you've selected them all, you can then accept them all or reject them all. After you have accepted or rejected your orders, click the Saved Orders button to save the orders. The new Infield Express inbox has been designed to be faster and easier to use. Cancellation requests and memos are now combined as part of the work order line. Cancellation alerts appear as an icon in the notification column, and clicking on the icon will acknowledge the cancellation. Memo notifications appear as an envelope icon in the notification column, and if you click the arrow next to the order, you will see the memo text. Because memos can be received on completed orders, there is now an order status column to help you tell the difference between orders that are due and orders that have been completed. Orders that have been completed and are no longer due are color-coded orange. New functionality has been packed into the inbox. If you want to search for orders, you can now search by any column. For example, if you want to search by street address, click inside the Addresses search field and type in the address that you want to search for. If you want to search by job type, click and type within the service field. You can export a list of your orders out to Excel by using the Export button. Perhaps most exciting is the new mapping feature. Select the orders that you want to route and then click the mapping button in the toolbar. If you want to start or end at a particular address, such as your home, you can include that in your route. Once you click the route button, you'll receive an optimized route. This generated route can be printed so that you'll have directions with you on the road.